Welcome to Act Notes Tutorials, my name is Tina, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on cost estimating methods. Cost estimating is a valuable tool that is used in every acquisition program. It is used to estimate how much a program or a phase of a program might cost. To develop a cost estimate, there are a number of cost estimating methods that can be used in estimating the costs of a future and current acquisition program. The use of a specific approach will depend on how much information is available and where the program is in its development and life cycle. Most programs will use multiple methods to get a good cross-reference of the accuracy of their estimates. What are the main types of cost estimating methods? The most commonly used cost estimating methods are parametric, analogy, engineering, actual cost, and finally three-point. I will explain each of these methods in more detail next. The first method I will discuss is parametric cost estimating. The parametric method uses regression or other statistical methods to develop cost estimating relationships. A cost estimating relationship is an equation used to estimate a given cost element using an established relationship with one or more independent variables. The relationship may be mathematically simple or it may involve a complex equation often derived from regression analysis of historical systems or subsystems. Cost estimating relationship should be current, applicable to the system or subsystem in question, and appropriate for the range of data being considered. The second method commonly used is analogy cost estimating. The analogy method is used to estimate a cost based on historical data for an analogous system or subsystem. In this method, a currently fielded system, similar in design and operation to the proposed system, is used as a basis for the analogy. The cost of the proposed system is then estimated by adjusting the historical cost of the current system to account for differences between the proposed and current system. The third cost estimating method I will discuss is the engineering cost estimating method. Also called the bottoms up method. This method breaks down a system being costed into lower level components such as parts or assemblies, each of which is costed separately for direct labor, direct material, and other costs. Engineering estimates for direct labor hours may be based on analyses of engineering drawings and contractor or industry-wide standards. The remaining elements of cost may be factored in from the direct labor and material costs. The various discrete cost estimates are aggregated by simple algebraic equations, hence the other name, bottoms-up estimate. The use of engineering estimates requires extensive knowledge of a system's characteristics and lots of detailed data. The fourth estimating method is the actual cost estimating method. With this method, actual cost experience or trends from prototypes, engineering development models, and or early production items are used to project estimates of future costs for the same system. These projections may be made at various levels of detail, depending on the availability of data. Cost estimates that support a full rate production milestone decision should be based on actual cost data to the greatest extent possible. The final cost estimating method is the three-point cost estimate. It is based upon the program analysis and review technique, called PERT, which has the project manager identifies three separate estimates. One estimate is optimistic, the other is pessimistic, and the last is most likely. This scenario has the cost estimate typically fall somewhere in the middle. Thank you for watching this tutorial on cost estimating methods. For more information please visit the webpage. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.